We're now joined in the infield media center by uh, today's third place finisher, driver of the number 18 NOS Toyota, Kyle Bush. Kyle, tell us about your run. It was a fine run. <clears throat> Car was uh, was fast, just not fast enough, unfortunately. There we had to race with a 32 too much today, and there at the end of the race when uh, we did our final pit stop on pit road, we had a, uh, a great pit stop and got off and got out, and um, we were leading. And if the race would have went green, I think we would have had it. But uh, unfortunately, there at the end of the race, we were racing too hard with uh, the 32. And I don't think he knew the 88 was coming and uh, just blew by both of us. We're also uh, joined by today's second place finisher, driver number 32, Dollar General Store Toyota, Brian Vickers. Brian, tell us about your run. Uh, well, we had a good car. Um, we were better on the long run. The short run, we were too loose. Uh, the 18 was better. Uh, we had a good race all day back and forth uh, throughout the runs and, uh, and then there at the end we were just racing hard for the win and the 88 snuck around both of us on the outside um, you know it was uh, we were we were really loose there at the end and at that point we were just uh, you know my focus was trying to hold off the 88, 18 for the win and and uh, got really loose down in turn three getting into turn three um, I'm not sure how close the 18 was to me if we just if it was arrow loose or just got out from under me and I chased up the track and by that time the 88 called us and uh, I thought I could race him back down to turn three, but uh, I was just way too loose in the bottom. Whoever had the outside groove had the advantage um, pretty much most of the day. That's why all the leaders took the, the outside lane on the restarts, I feel like. We'll now open it up to uh, questions from the media. Again, as a courtesy, please state your name and affiliation. Questions for these gentlemen? Go to Jeff, and then we'll come over. Jeff Gluck from NASCAR scene. Uh, I understand the disagreement at the end. Did you feel like it was clean racing between you two in the other battles that we saw swapping for the lead before that point? Is the disagreement, I guess, stemming from just that last, you know, that last incident there when you were down low and um, the 88 was coming? Is that reference to both of us? Yeah. Um, yeah, during the race, it was fine. Um, we were having a good battle up front. You know, sometimes my car would be good on a few laps, his car would be good on a few laps, and then he'd kind of check out there on a long run but um uh there at the end you know he bobbled in three i got under him coming off of uh off of four and got all the way down to the grass trying to get away from him and he just hung on my right rear quarter panel side drafting me and wasn't paying attention to the mirror that the 88 was coming i knew the 88 was coming and um man i mean i was stuck i had nowhere to go if i would have moved up i would have been in into him if i would have gone lower i would have been in the dirt so i had nothing to do um it was just uh unfortunate there that that uh, the side draft played that bigger role and and uh, lost both the winning cars a chance to win the race. Further, at, at that okay. point, <clears throat> same thing. I mean, we had good racing all day. Um, you know, I don't know why I was so upset after the race. Uh, I, I thought it was good hard racing. Um, you know, I, I didn't realize it was my job to let him go and win the race. Um, at that point, coming to the white flag, whether the 88 was coming or not, it's irrelevant. My job is to try to win the race. It's a, it's the last lap. And at that point, the greatest threat was the 18. You know, I was side drafting him just like he was side drafting me all day. That's what we do. That's what we race for. My job is to win the race. And that's what I was trying to do. Um, I didn't hit him. I didn't move him. I didn't do anything dirty. We raced down the front stretch. The 88 got into my outside. And him and I raced down the back stretch. I didn't think nothing of it until he hit me in the pits. Further questions? Do we have any questions upstairs? Go back to Jeff. I mean, is this the, it's kind of awkward with you guys sitting here, I guess, but is this the kind of thing that carries over um, or is, do you guys move on after this or wh where do you go from here, I guess? I don't know. Um, ever since Richmond, I've had a problem with him racing with him on the racetrack. So this is just uh, another escalation of that. And, um, He'll be up front tomorrow. I'll be in the back, so we won't have anything tomorrow. Listen, I, I race everybody the way the way they race me. Um, the Richmond incident, what he was talking about was he got to me, and the first turn he got to me, he moved me up the racetrack, and I moved him back up the racetrack the next turn. Um, after that, we've been fine. So uh, I don't know what else to do. You know, I'm going to race people the way they race me. It, we were racing for the win. You know, I mean, Kyle, if you're going to be upset about that, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. That's that's my job is to try to win the race. If anybody else disagrees, if anybody else thinks I should have just rolled out of it and let Kyle win, then please raise your hand. I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. 
Uh, I'm fine. The only thing I'm mad about was the way he handled it after the race. Um, I'm sure we can get past that. I want to have a good race tomorrow. Um, but there again, I'm always going to race everybody the way they race me. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Congratulations.